Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to talk about Birds of Prey, or Birds of Prey and the fabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. I think Birds of Prey is very much trying to be sort of a quirky, trashy sort of movie. And it's like as quirky and trashy as like your office pizza party or Ed Hardy shirts at Target. It's very much a studio movie, but trying to be very influenced by kind of very messy, stylized indie movies where you can tell they like really didn't know what they were doing. So they're just going to like cut around a bunch. And when you're younger, you really like that stylization. But when you're older, you watch and realize it's just kind of like a total mess. And I've never seen a movie that's like purposefully trying to look like it's a mess while like maybe not really being a mess it, it's sort of weird because what kathy ann does in this is she's very much trying to ape the style of kind of like weirder kind of quirkier movies this is you know an almost 100 million dollar film and of course it's very much not a really quirky crazy sort of movie it kind of is very kind of sort of conventional it doesn't feel really that out of control i think it's kind of fourth wall breaking or so forth felt more radical and deadpool and deadpool is like not really a radical movie so when you get to birds of prey although it's fun in a lot of places and i think that's like one of its definite strong pursuits it's still very enjoyable it's kind of whole like sort of theme or th way it's told or something that seems to be like something that people like or at least something that you would describe about like what this movie is i don't think was really that interesting it's kind of like really begging to be and you're like yes the energy of this movie is a lot better than a lot of mainstream films it has a real hungry energy and this director's had a, a couple features one at sundance that's sort of obscure apparently which i haven't seen i like the energy she brought to it a lot actually but i didn't like the kind of loose kind of messiness of it on purpose you know which is a weird thing to do do i don't think a lot of people other than like tarantino know how to like really pull that off well it still feels messy but it's like very structured and everything like that this just felt like you know oh it's messy it's all over the place it's this it's that i mean it is an enjoyable movie and it gets that to work like the best of those kind of things do but it just feels a little like blah I guess it's organized puke or something. It's, it's sort of this movie. And it's definitely better than like, I, get, I think Suicide Squad was trying to do that. And this is like a much better attempt and a lot smarter at trying to be a kind of Suicide Squad than Suicide Squad itself was because it at least sort of like gets what it is. It feels like the studio just sort of let them create this sort of weird thing over here and they came to it and they're like, this is enjoyable enough to release. And that's sort of what we get from it. I don't know if I love Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. I guess that is kind of her iconic character i i think she's a great actress but I, as i was watching i was like i don't know if i like even think she's my favorite harley quinn to be honest like i think i like the animated series one a lot more i do think she's really good and she's like really putting herself out there in it and i guess this is her star vehicle and whether you like harley quinn or not and whether you agree with how popular that character became she's definitely an iconic character there's nothing we can really say about that culture decided that one and she is. She gets that. And I, she clearly has fun with the character. Her Harley Quinn-ness kind of overpowers the movie because this is called Birds of Prey. It's not called Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. It kind of is more about the fabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn than it is about the Birds of Prey, which sucks because the scenes where they're all together were actually some of the standouts. I really like those scenes of all of the Birds of Prey together. I thought it was really cool. Although I guess the Birds of Prey is like part of them and not all of them or whatever. I felt like, like why call it Birds of Prey? Why not call it Harley Quinn? Not to get too obsessed with the film's title, but it really wasn't like a team movie. Almost like X-Men movies where it's like Wolverine and the X-Men and this is like Harley Quinn and then, you know, maybe the Birds of Prey or whatever. I, I did feel like there was a better movie in just the Birds of Prey than there was in following her and being sort of a mess and jumbling around and so forth. Um, but when, when they're together and their quips back and forth and their action sequences and they're fighting together like that, this movie really sings. And it's kind of like, I think in a lot of ways, uh, what will really help this movie is if you leave a movie on like a high, you kind of like sort of excuse the rest of it. <laughs> You know, even if you didn't enjoy it while it was going on, you're sort of like, yeah, but that ending, like, I feel so good now. Maybe you're not that passionate about Birds of Prey, probably. You'll at least feel better about it towards the end. So, like, I, I would definitely see, I mean, I'd more anticipate a sequel of this than I would 
you know, a Suicide Squad too. Although I guess James Gunn's doing that, but you know, it d- does feel like they do a lot more with the ashes of Suicide Squad and have more fun with it by being like more economical in what it's trying to do. And Suicide Squad, as jumbly as it is, it feels like way less of a mess than that movie. I mean, that movie was an actual mess, so maybe that's the difference. This is a controlled mess. So, um, when you have people like uh, Rosie Perez, it's just nice seeing her and stuff. I always love Rosie Perez. Mary Elizabeth Winstead is barely in this movie. I'm not sure why she took this role. Maybe they told her there'd be a sequel. Not sure. Jeremy Solette Bell, uh, she was really good as Black Canary. I quite liked her kind of like a rugged kind of performance. Like she she was really good at playing this kind of like been around the block a few times kind of role. Um, more so than a, a lot of people were doing that. And also Chris Messina, who I didn't, I was like, is that him? I, th- I was like half convinced it was a different actor, but I thought he did a good job. And Ali Wong and even Ewan McGregor being very over the top. Like this is much more lifeless, ordinary Ewan McGregor than I'm used to nowadays. It's weird because it's like watching this, I'm like, wow, this is very much a mainstream film. It's very much, you know, in the vein of like Schumacher Batman or something like that. But it's very influenced by films that like when they were made, they would not be big blockbuster films. I think in a lot of ways, that's what's interesting about whatever the DC movies are called now is that they can take on these different things and do these weird kind of style exercises and things like that in a very like controlled blockbustery sort of way, much like what Joker was and then what this is. And I don't know if I entirely love that idea. I think I like more of like Shazam or like Wonder Woman, like let's just make like a good genre movie or, you know, a good movie. Um, and I don't I don't know if, you know, Birds of Prey would probably watch again more than Joker. I wasn't as into Joker. And I don't know if I'd ever be as into Birds of Prey. It, it, it kind of doesn't make that much of an impression on me. I can understand if you, you know, much like I feel about Joker is how I'd feel about people who I know who would love Birds of Prey is that, you know, I've seen Taxi Driver and King of Comedy a bunch of times. I know Scorsese, I know 80s gritty New York movies. So I know like the kind of gritty New York kind of cinema or, and also have seen Joaquin Phoenix in tons of movies. So it, to me, it wasn't that different or changing. It was like, well, I've seen better, him do better. I've seen this be better. You know, it, it wasn't my first exposure to that. And in a lot of ways, I think Birds of Prey, you know, for those people, I think I remember when I went to film school, a lot of people loved Boondock Saints and I didn't get it because I was really into John Woo and you know all these films that you know Pulp Fiction all these things that influenced Boondock Saints regrettably and this is like that is like they didn't know anything about the movies and they're like no but this this is really changing lives I'm like is it is it is Boondock Saints maybe yours in a negative way and I think this is kind of like that if you really like Boondock Saints I'm sure you like Birds of Prey for whatever reason I don't really think those movies are good movies because they're kind of like style jumble messes but I think Birds of Prey is like a good version of that you know it's like it's actually knows like how to make one of those it's like those movies are a mess and it like takes that all in and it's like well let's make this mess into something enjoyable in Hollywood and that's something not a lot of directors can get away with and I think you know, Kathy Ann does get away with that, which is pretty remarkable, frankly, and pretty commendable because that's not an easy thing to do. It's like, you know, watching something, you know, completely fall over on you, just holding it up and actually having it stay the entire time is sort of like this entire movie. And everyone's like, wow, that actually worked. And I think that's kind of what you're doing while you're watching this film. I, but I think most of it, you realize that like sort of that isn't like a true fix for it. And this isn't like an amazing, interesting, you know, thought provoking movie. It's sort of just like a tad more interesting than your average sort of blockbuster, but it's still kind of just your average sort of blockbuster. Overall, these films are movies that you talk about in the moment, maybe talk about with friends and so forth, but isn't in terms of viewing experiences that sort of stay with you. I can't say this movie really did or made much of an impression just sort of like things i've seen before a lot of times maybe they did a little better it pushed itself to be as quirky as it wanted to be but i don't know if i'm as impressed with its kind of like weird quirkiness i'm kind of just you know just a little impressed with that it got that to work as well as it did but not but not really charmed by it or this movie in any way i think i'm maybe too old to be charmed by this movie and that probably doesn't defend this movie it more shows that in terms of storytelling it doesn't have the charm it just has it on a kind of surface level to kind of charm you up and make you believe in its own nonsense and although it gets that nonsense to work i definitely don't believe in it
So if you've seen Birds of Prey and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to.